Farmers like Joel Salatin and Gabe Brown, amongst many other pioneers in the field, who years ago started in exactly the same way that we have, have had the success that they've had because they've been farming biology for years. They've managed to restore their depleted soils and their ecosystem processes. It's where their increased production and financial, environmental and social well-being has come from. We tend in the beginning to be more concerned with the how of how it is that we do this thing, when in fact it becomes increasingly obvious over time that the why is so very much more important. We're having it conclusively proved to us all the time that the more we concentrate on improving our water cycle, nutrient cycle and energy flow to growing soil and soil biology, the drier our farm walks underfoot, even in the wettest of times. Acquiring an understanding of how water flows through our landscapes once it hits the ground seems to be the key to all of this. We were told by our mentors at the very beginning that if we restored our water cycle, the other ecosystem processes would follow suit. That seems to be holding true. After all, if we want to be able to outwinter our animals successfully on our land during the wettest times of the year, then getting to grips with how to restore the health of our soils would seem to be a good place to start.